Hello, it's Lee with AppointmentReminder.com. I uh, wanted to walk through how to connect Office 365 calendars uh, to the AppointmentReminder.com system. A uh, pretty quick and easy process, but sometimes it's uh, nice and easy to see. So um, where I'm at is Outlook.Live.com forward slash calendar here. I am logged into my account. Super important to be logged into your Office account so that it's able to sync properly. And you can make appointments from this screen. So if I click on today's date, uh, it'll bring up the particular uh, appointment section and I'll put in my customer's information and put the phone number on this. And if I put an email, it will be able to send both the phone, text and email reminders over to my client. Um, just put the phone number, email in there, and then I can also put it in the description as well. If I'm going to put put that on there, usually the best place to put it right there on the top system will recognize it, and we'll make this appointment for today. And so that's real quick and easy. Now we're going to jump over to AppointmentReminder.com, and we're going to navigate to the calendar section here, and under Add Calendars, where we're going to want to be here. Um, and then we're going to click on this Office 365 calendar. This is the online version of most of the calendars that you'll be working with. Uh, if you are using the desktop version of Outlook, you might want to look at this Outlook calendar feature where it has a plug-in to install. Uh, but this is for the online 365 calendar. Once you're ready to connect the Office 365 calendar, we're going to click right here on this particular link. And then it's going to reach out to uh, Microsoft side and have you just authenticate your access to the calendar. Uh, I've already been logged in on that side of the system, but it's just going to prompt me here. Uh, just confirm that it's going to have access to our calendar. Click yes, it'll reach out, finish the rest of the connection. And it does happen pretty quickly. Um, you can see here um, that the calendar's already pulled across. If you have multiple calendars, you'll also see them here. Uh, these are some default calendars that usually you'll see, uh, but this one in particular on top is going to be the one, my main calendar that I'm using. And then the next thing is just to choose the appointment reminder script. By default, um, we'll use that. Uh, you can go in and set additional scripts on each calendar. And then the advanced options would be syncing. Uh, if we had all day events, we'd want to carry those over or not. And then only sync appointments created by myself. Uh, which is turned off as well, and then any start and end time hours. So if we have certain uh, times during the business we want to connect, uh, would be right there. And now the calendar has been connected here. We can go back to calendar, open calendars, and we should be able to see uh, the appointments that we made. And it just took a second there to sync, but you can see our Donald Duck appointment for today is on there, our Mickey Mouse, and our Minnie Mouse. Now, we always want to be using our Outlook Live account to be making changes. So if you make, if you delete an appointment, make sure you do that on this calendar page. If you add an appointment, do it on this page. Um, the carryover of the appointment is just... Uh, so it can fire the reminders, but the best practice is to use your actual Outlook calendars to do all your scheduling. And if you make any changes, do that here. That will sync and update to the appointment reminder system. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us on the chat tool on appointmentreminder.com and we'll get you taken care of or feel free to email us. Thanks and have a great day.